Welcome to Air Force Officer Qualifying Test Online Test Prep Course Series Arithmetic Reasoning. So we'll have total six lessons for this math section that covers in uh, AF OQT test. Lesson one through lesson four, arithmetic reasoning. Lesson five and six will be math knowledge. So just um, study all these topics that we covered in the video lecture series and practice the problem uh, using our application um, AF OQT tutoring app from App Store or Google Play. You could also subscribe online course um, with this link that will help you to uh, prepare for the um, AF OQT test. So before you get started, make sure that you have a pen and a hard notebook that you could write everything you need. Let's get started. In this lesson, we'll learn fraction and decimals. We'll learn simplify fractions, mixed numbers, fraction addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We'll also learn how to convert from fraction to decimal and decimal to fraction. We'll learn how to multiply decimals and divide decimals. So let's do it. So we'll do some examples with the basics and then we apply this basic into what problem that we'll see in the actual test. The first thing we'll learn how to simplify fractions. If you want to simplify fraction, the first thing you have to do, you have to find a number you could divide top and bottom by the same number. So here we have 20 over 30. So what is the number you could divide 20 and 30 so that is 10 so if you divide it by 20 and 30 by 10 you get 2 third same way 18 over 20 divided both side by 2 so that gives you 9 over 10 so we have some examples here that i did now next thing you have to do you have to practice by yourself so always pause the video and try to do by yourself as we mentioned before make sure that you have a notebook and a handy pen all right so let's do this so you try by this on 35 over 40 and 16 over 22 and see you could get that answer that we get okay go to the next topic so now we'll apply our basic into what problem so you could see here here is an example a basket had a collection of 15 balls. 10 of them were yellow and the rest were blue. What is the fraction of blue balls in the basket? Write the fraction in the simplest form. So how many blue balls are there? So 15 minus 10 gives you five. Now what fraction blue? Five over 15. So now apply your knowledge that you have learned divided top and bottom by the same numbers that we did here and get the answer one third so the next thing is a practice problem so you try by yourself here is the answer make sure that you get it next we'll learn how to convert mixed number or mixed fraction into improper fraction why this one is mixed fraction because it has a whole number and a proper fraction Right, the proper fraction means um, numerator is bigger than a denominator. So what do you have to do? You have to multiply and add. So seven times two is 14 plus one is 15 over two. Same way, this one is nine and three fifths. So nine times five is 45 plus three is 48 over five. So these are the example I did. Let's, you try by yourself. So make sure that you try by yourself and got these two answer then it will be good the next thing we'll learn how to make from improper fraction into mixed number anytime you want to um, do it a uh, what problem anywhere you see like improper fraction you have to turn into a mixed number so how you could do that you could just simply divide so if you divide 29 by 5 you could see here um, 5 goes into 29 5 times, 5 times 5 is 25, and the, if you subtract it, that gives you 4 remainder. So, 
the way you need to do that so you need to write a line next to five and then you put uh, the remainder here the remainder put on the fourth here and that's five so that gives you five and four over five so you could see here the exactly the same way um we did here 79 divided by eight that gives you uh, nine and remainder seven that gives you nine and seven over eight the next thing you try by yourself make sure that you get these answers now we'll learn how to add fractions so if you want to add a fraction the first thing you have to do um, you have to make sure that the common denominator that means the denominator are the same so in that case you we have 1 6 and 3 over 6 the common denominator um, are 6 so just you need to add the numerator so 3 plus 1 is 4 over 6 but the next problem we have 5 over 6 plus 3 over 8 but the denominator are not the same so what do you have to do you have to find the common denominator the least common multiple or common denominator between 6 and 8 is 24 so how we could find it the common denominator there is an easy way you could find out. So if you list all the multiplication of, um, of 6 and 8 and you'll see. So you have uh, 6 here and 8 here. So let's do it. So if you write the 6 multiplication table, that is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, like that. For In that case, for 8, it gives you 8. 16, 24, 32, and so on. So now, what is the smallest common between these two sets is 24. So you could see here the, the common denominator is 24. Now, what do you have to do? You have to find the equivalent fraction of this one and that one. So um, what do you need to multiply 6 to get 24? that is 4 so that's why we multiply top and bottom by 4 so that gives you 20 over 24 in that case the same way what you need to multiply 8 to get 24 is 3 so you could multiply 3 times 3 is 9 that gives you 9 over 24 now you have to add them up so if you add them up that gives you 29 over 24 and anytime if you have a improper fraction you have to turn into a mixed number so if you do that if you divide that gives you 5 and 5 over 24 so let's move into the next so here um, is a practice problem you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer if you get it you're correct here we learn how to add mixed fractions so if you want to add a mixed fraction, the first thing you have to do, you have to make this mixed number into improper fraction that we did before. Um, so 9 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19 over 2, and then is 13 over 3. So now, the same way, find the common denominator and also find the uh, equivalent fraction. So what do you need to multiply 2 to get 6, that multiply top and bottom by 3. What you need to multiply 3 to get 6, multiply top and bottom by 2, that gives you 57 over 6 and 26 over 6. And if you add them up, that gives you 53 over 6. Make um, this improper fraction into a mixed number, that gives you 13 and 5 over 6. So you try by yourself. Um, next, there is an, a practice problem. You try. And make sure that you get this answer if you don't get this answer go to the previous example and clear your concept so the next thing we learn how to subtract fractions so the same way if you want to uh, subtract fraction same way that we did addition so you have the um, denominator are not the same so you have to find the common denominator between 5 and 7 which is 35 so now find the equivalent fraction that I did here, 21 over 35 and 15 over 35, and then subtract it. That gives you 6 over 35. 
Now let's do this problem 12 minus 5 and 1 fourth. So the same way, so if you don't have any, uh, just a whole number, you could put one underneath of that. So that gives you um, 12 over one and five and one fourth. So anytime you have a mixed number, as I said, you have to turn into this mixed number into improper fraction. So that gives you um, 21 over four and 12 over one. So what do you have to do? So the common denominator here is four. You have to find the equivalent fraction that gives you 48 over four and 21 over four. So if you subtract it, that gives you 27 over four, make this improper fraction into mixed numbers, that gives you six and three over four. So now you try this uh, to um, practice problem and make sure that you get this answer that we get, then you'll, you'll be fine. So the next thing we'll learn another uh, subtraction problem, the same way we did the previous one, um, make this mixed number into improper fraction, um, then find the equivalent fraction and then subtract it and get mixed number. Okay. So let's move to the next topic. So the same way there is a couple of more practice problems. So you try by yourself, make sure that you get this answer. As I said, always pause the video, go back and make sure that your concepts are clear. So that is the whole purpose, right? So let's uh, apply our uh, addition and subtraction uh, fraction skills into this word problem. Simon pledged to run 20 and a half kilometers this week. If he ran five and three fifth kilometer on Monday, six and one half kilometer on Tuesday, how many kilometers must he run in order to meet the goal? So you have these numbers here and fractions here, right? So what do you have to do? You have to, um, whatever he did on Monday and Tuesday, add them up and subtract from 20. So that is in here, you could see here, 20 minus this plus that. So same way, make this mixed number into improper fraction. So that gives you 41 over two, 28 over five and 13 over two. So now you have to find the common denominator and find the uh, equivalent fraction. So that gives you this, this and that. So if you add 56 and 65 and subtract from 205, that gives you 84 over 10. So if you simplify that, that gives you eight and two fifth. So you try by yourself now. Here is another example. Uh, this is a practice problem. So if you learned the previous example, you could do by yourself this one. Give it a try. Make sure that you get this answer. So now learn how to multiply fractions. So as I mentioned multiple times, anytime if you have a mixed number, you must need to make into improper fraction in order to do any kind of operation. If you want to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, it doesn't matter. Make this mixed number into improper fraction to make your life easier. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, make this mixed number into improper fraction. So that gives you four times five is 20 plus three is 23 over four and 24 over one. So there are multiple way you could do it. You could multiply top to top, bottom to bottom and divide or you could divide first, simplify the fraction first and then multiply, right? There are multiple ways you could do it. So if you do that, so that gives you 138. So there is another example you could see here, same way you could do that. Uh, make this mixed number into improper fraction, um, then multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, or thus divide uh, by simplifying, right? And then get 52. So there are a couple of practice problem. Um, you try by yourself, make sure that you get this answer. Same way, now let's learn how to divide fractions. So anytime, as I said, if you have a 
improper fraction or um, mixed number. So uh, if you have a mixed number, you need to make into improper fraction. So exactly the same way. So there is nothing under four, so you could put one underneath that. So there is a formula you need to apply how to um, divide fraction. That is called KCF, Kentucky Chicken Fry. That means keep whatever you have in the left side in here, send the division into multiplication and flip it. So that is keep change flips, whatever we did here. Keep change flip. So now if you have a um, if you have the numbers uh, multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, and then divide. So that gives you 11 over 6. Make this improper fraction into mixed number that gives you 1 and 5 over 6. So you try by yourself now. So there is a couple of um, more uh, example we have then you have also uh, the practice so do the same way make this mixed number into improper fraction and follow the rule keep change flip then multiply top to top bottom to bottom and then divide or you could simplify that now here you could see here we, we, we simplify right so you get two here this is a, a practice problem you try by yourself Make this mixed number into improper fraction, send the sign division into multiplication, and then flip it. And then you should get this. Now let's let's apply the multiplication and division. We apply uh, learn the basic into what problem? Uh, a field is in the shape of a rectangle, about two and five miles long and three quarter mile. Why? What is the area of the field? So, you know, area equal to um, length times width, right? This is length, this is width. If you want to find the area, so that gives you length time width. We'll learn this in the next lesson um, about all this when you talk about the geometry. But try because this is a multiplication problem, so you could learn here too. So, the same way, make this mixed number into improper fraction right and then multiply top to top bottom to bottom and then divide so that gives you um two and one six square miles there is another example that you could do uh logan made five and one pound of trail mix if he puts three quarter pound into his bag how many bags can logan fill the same way, just you have to divide this, right? So you have like this and you are, you are putting into, you are making it a small, small parts. So what do you have to do, right? You have to divide, okay? Just do that, make this mixed number into improper fraction, multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, and then divide. So that gives you, uh, so you could cross them out. Then 21, that gives you seven. Three divided by three is one. So that gives you seven bags. So um, this is a um, little bit bigger problem. That means you need to do like a lot of fractions here. So um, let's, let's do these examples. So a construction firm estimated 540,000 as part of the price for constructing a building. It was estimated that one ninth was cost for machinery work, one third lumber and carpentry, one sixth electrical work and one over six was cost for plumbing and heating what is the profit they estimated so if you add all this fraction so one over nine one third one six one six that gives you seven over nine now the seven over nine so what is profit so the whole thing minus seven over nine so that means one minus seven over nine that gives you two fifth so two fifth the profit so so that is the fraction so you need to find this um two fifth is how much so what you could do so not two fifth two over nine is uh, how much so you need to do two over nine times uh five hundred forty um thousand so as i said if you have a multiplication of fraction so you have to multiply top to top bottom to bottom and then you could divide 
right or you could just divide and that gives you 120,000 so this is this is another example um, I mean this is another practice problem so pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you get this answer the same way another practice problem try by yourself make sure that you get this answer another one so now let's learn how to make from decimal to um sorry from fraction to decimal right so anytime if you want to fraction make from um a fraction to decimal you have to divide so anytime you divide a fraction the top number always goes inside the box right so a five doesn't go into two so what do you have to do you have to put a decimal on the top anytime you put a decimal on the top you could bring a zero down because you, you got some super power that you could bring the zero down so now how many times five goes into 20 it goes four times so four times five is 20 no remainder so if you have a remainder or something say like you have a remainder so you could keep getting zero keep dividing until you have a no remainder so this is another one how to make this um, 1 over 25 into decimal same way let's do that this is one way let me do another way so 25 into 1 right so 25 doesn't go into 1 so what you need to do put a decimal get a 0 so as you know because of this decimal you get 0 so every time you get 1 0 you have to evaluate so can you divide no you could bring one digit at a time you cannot get multiple digits so I got only one zero but I still cannot divide so what you have to do you need to put a zero on the top then you could bring another zero in down now how many times 25 goes into 100 is just four times 100 so now how to convert from decimal to fraction so whatever number you have in here so you need to put um, on the top and because of this um, decimal you could put one and after the decimal you have two digits you have to fill out with zero that gives you one over 20. same way you try by yourself make sure that you get one over eight now how to multiply decimals okay this is very simple so anytime you multiply decimals so one thing you could do easy way let's forget about decimals let's take the decimal out from the cent um let's do this on three six five times 25 right so if you multiply without decimal uh, that you should get nine one two five if you do like that so now after the decimal how many digits do you have you have one two three so you have to move three decimal places from right to left one two three right here so the answer is nine point one two five you try by yourself so write that down like this so eight or three times four fifty two right so you say in that case after the decimal how many digits do you have you have one two three four so we have four decimals so you could see here one two three four so if you multiply that you should get three six two nine five six and then after the um a decimal you have four digits so you could put one two three four right like that right so this is a trick that you could apply so now let's learn how to uh, divide decimals there is another trick for the decimal too um, when you divide so anytime you, you want to um, divide a decimal so what you have to do try to get rid of the decimal from outside of the box right here so you have 2.5 to um, 3.65 right so move one decimal place do the same thing one decimal place that's how we get here is um, 36.50 that divided by 25 and then divide like regular way you divide and then that gives you one and 
4 over uh, 1.46 this is a practice problem you try by yourself let me just give you some hints how to do that so you have 0 0.005 into 0 0.56 so as I said you need to get rid of this decimal from outside of the box so you have one two three decimals so move one two three decimals but it doesn't have three so you have to fill out with zero so you have five with five six zero so if you divide that that gives you 112. let's do a um practice problem here so um you could apply whatever you have learned the basic how to divide decimal and um, multiply decimal so in that case so let's do this problem together so faith went to a grocery store to buy apples each apple cost 78 cents and she spent a total of four dollar and 68 cents how many apples did faith buy so what do you have to do you have to just divide so let's do it so 0 0.78 into 4.68 so as I mentioned before anytime you divide a decimal you need to get rid of the decimal from outside of the box so move two decimal places here and there so that gives you 78 to 468 now how many times 78 goes into 468 just six times so six times eight is 48 8 carry 4 6 times 4 uh, 6 times 7 is 42 plus 4 is 46 so that is total 6 apples so this is another um, practice problem you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer that should be good so now if you want to practice more so we have the application that is in the link below so download this application that will help you to prepare for this um, lesson one okay